Hello there adventurers and welcome to Wally DM. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of dice accessories that was sent to me by Ray from the PlasticDragon.net and at the end of the video I'm going to give you details on how you can be entered into a random drawing to possibly win one of these items. Now what we're going to look at today is a dice tray, perhaps one of the best dice trays that you can get. It's absolutely quickly become a favorite of mine. It's a 3-in-1 tray, storage, and a tower. So I'm excited to show you that and also a smaller dice container that can hold your favorite dice set. So we have a lot to look at today, so let's jump right in. Let's begin by taking a look at the repository, seen here in Galaxy Black and in Silk Purple. Now they come with a default design engraved on them, but if you'd like your own custom image or custom design, they can do that for you with a little bit of an extra cost. They can also add text to the left and to the right side of the dice tray. Now, seen here is the Wally DM logo, and it looks really sharp. I'm very impressed. Now, the Plastic Dragons have these available in 24 different colors, and these are made of a tough, durable plastic, a very solid piece of equipment for your TTRPG games. Now, the tray or the storage tray for the dice is magnetic, so it seals into place, and it's not going to let you down. Let's take a look here, again, magnetic, and it slides right out, and this one here is holding five sets of dice. And again, we slide that back in, and the magnet takes over. Shaking it up and down a little bit, it's not going anywhere. I'm very impressed with the magnets on these. Now let's take a look at the dice tray and the tower. Now the tower pieces are locked in place, so all you need to do is just slide them to the front, and they pop right out. Now you can see here this is a velvet dice tray or a velvet covering so it should protect your dice with no issues. Now the tower is also magnetic and it pops right into place and there are magnets in the corner of the dice tray that hold the tower. As seen here we can tip it upside down and it doesn't go anywhere. Now let's roll a few dice. So my first die I'm going to roll is a 1. What the heck? Well, a 1's good for the players anyway. Let's roll with advantage. An 8 and a 3, the dungeon master's rolling terribly. How about as a player, let's roll some sneak attack damage, 4d6. How about we just roll all of our candy corn dice? Right out onto the velvet line tray. Some more advantage dice, some kiwi flavored. Hey, let's roll a metal d20 right onto the dice tray. Now, there are a few dice that aren't going to work. If you've got this monster D&D die, it's not going to work. And then Magic the Gathering spin down dice are just going to get stuck in there. So if you're a fan of these, to keep in mind that the spin down dice are a little bit bigger than your normal D20. And they're not going to work with the dice tray. Now that we're all done, we slide all of our pieces back into place and away we go. Now the next item that we're going to take a look at is the Luck Puck. And these are also available in 24 different colors and are fully customizable for an additional cost. Now the Luck Puck also has magnets on it so that it holds into place. As you can see here, they just snap and the lid goes right on. Now these are designed to hold your favorite set of dice. If you only want to take one dice with you to a convention, to a friend's house, wherever you may be going, you put them in there and they're not going anywhere. As you can see here, the magnets hold it into place very well and we're good to go. A neat little contraption. I really like this thing. Now one final thing to note about the luck puck is you could actually use the lid as a mini dice tray because it's velvet lined, it's going to protect your dice. Now you may be wondering, can we get a little bit of color on these? Well, if I reached out to the Plastic Dragon, and they said if you use a thicker base paint, that it should work just fine. So I went and I grabbed myself some acrylic paints, but I've got to admit, I am a terrible painter. So I did my best, but it's probably not going to look that great. Let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like to paint, and what type of paints you would recommend. 
So that's my review of the repository and the lock puck. Now, I absolutely love this dice accessory. In fact, I would probably go as far as saying it is now one of my favorite D&D accessories. I'll be putting it in my backpack and I'm going to be taking it to conventions or whenever I travel to play D&D. Now, I would highly recommend going over and visit theplasticdragon.net and picking up one of these or even a luck puck for yourself or maybe as a gift idea for a dungeon master or someone you know that loves tabletop tabletop role-playing games. So now let's talk about a giveaway. The Plastic Dragon has offered some merchandise to a random winner, and in order to be entered into this random giveaway or this drawing, you need to do two things. Number one, you need to be subscribed to the Wally DM YouTube channel, and number two, you need to go to theplasticdragon.net, I will put a link in the description below, and take a look at the 24 different colors. Find a color that you would like if you are able to get one of these items, and leave a comment below with that color or the color that you would like if you were to win this. And once again, I want to thank Ray at theplasticdragon.net for supplying us with a giveaway for the channel and for sending these items to my review. I absolutely enjoyed looking at these and having them in my possession. Thank you very much. So that's all I have for you today. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.